In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool rotating effect in your Canva designs in a few minutes, and you can customize it to whichever topic or product that you want. I'm using fruit in this case, but you can use it for any picture or object. And if you want to save some time while making presentations or designs in Canva, I have a lot of templates available, which you can download via the link in the description below, and they will save you a lot of time and effort in your next project. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first we want to change the background color. So select the background, go to background color, and I'll choose a, a nice and bright color. I'm going to choose a red in this case. And I'll go to the elements tab. And here let's type in some berries. Look for some fruits, click on photos, see all, and then choose a selection of berries that you like. I'm going to go for this mixture here and then scale it down a bit on the slide. Next, I want to add some text to the design. So click on text, title, and here we want to give the name berries or describe whatever object that you have. Place it below and let's make it white. For the font, I'm using Montserrat and I'm using the sub font extra bold. I'm going to select both, so hold shift and click on both objects and make them just a bit smaller. Now I'm going to look for the other fruits. So go to the elements tab again and here let's type in kiwis. Select a nice image of the kiwis and then scale them down until they're about the same size or similar to the berries. We're going to hold Option Shift or Control Shift and create a copy when you drag. And let's call this Kiwis. Center it in the middle underneath the Kiwis. And now let's look for apples, for example. Let's maybe look for green apples. See if we can find a nice picture. I kind of like this one with these slices. Let's scale that down. Put it next to the others. Let's Put them aside a bit and I'm going to hold option shift again to drag and here we call it apple. Let's make everything plural apples and then we look for bananas. Look for the nice yellow bananas. If your picture has a background like it has here, you can always use the background remover tool and then also scale it down and then copy it once more, center it underneath and call it bananas. This way we have the four objects that we want. Let's make sure everything is nicely aligned. Put this up a little bit. So we have about equal spacing between the image and the letters. Now I'm going to select the name and the picture and I'm going to group it. So select and group, repeat that three more times. And now we're going to add a circle to the slide. So for that, you can press the C key on your keyboard and that will add a circle. Let's give this a different color. There we go. Position and center back. Now we're going to select the grouped items and make them slightly smaller, like this. Then I'm going to position them so that the berries are on top. Oh, I think I messed up the positioning, so I have to go to layers and drag the circle all the way to the bottom. So we have the berries on top. Next, we have the kiwi on the right side of the circle. We have the apple at the bottom part and the bananas at the left part. It doesn't really matter which order you put them in. Unless you, of course, have a fixed order that you want to achieve, this is going to be the first one, second, third, and fourth in our case. There we go. Now let's select the circle, go to transparency, and reduce it all the way to zero. So it's no longer visible, but the shape is still there. And now we have the circle in the middle, and we have the grouped items, so the berries, picture, and text, kiwis, picture, and text, apples, kiwi, apples, and text, and the bananas, and text, and then the circle in the middle. What we're going to do is Berry is going to be the first one to pop up and the Kiwis is the second one. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees so that if we rotate it to the left, it will nicely come up to the top. The apple, we're going to rotate 180 degrees and the bananas, we're going to rotate minus 90 degrees. Once we have this, we're going to select everything and group it. So everything acts as one shape, including the circle. Now we're going to duplicate the page and hold control and zoom out. Now we're going to hold the control key and scroll backwards. To zoom out, you can also use this slider here at the bottom. Select the grouped items, hold the option key and drag to increase it from the center and then drag the berries in place. You don't have to use that. You can also just scale it like this, but I prefer to scale it from the center with the option or control key. And this gives us a slide of the berries. Now we want to duplicate the page, select the grouped items and rotate them minus 90 degrees. So we have the kiwis pop up and then we're going to center them in the middle here. We're going to duplicate once more and now we're going to rotate again until we have the apple appear. You can also make it slightly smaller if you want. There we go. 
and then duplicate a final time and rotate it. You can always hold control and scroll backwards and then do the same for the bananas. Now we want to give it different background colors. So we're going to select the background color and for the kiwis, let's look for something nice and green. Type in green and select a nice green color. For the apples, we can shift it down just a little bit, select the background color and let's look for something blue, a nice blue color, place it back. And then for the bananas, we're going to do the same. Let's drag it down just a bit, select the color, and let's look for a yellow color. A nice yellow color will do. Place it back, and there we go. Now we have our four slides. What we want to do now is go to this thumbnail view, hover in between the slides, add transition, and then click on match and move. This goes quite fast, so we're going to increase the timing to about 1.6. Now select Apply Between All Pages, and let's preview what we have. And this gives us a really cool presentation where you have the berries, and as soon as you click, it will rotate towards the kiwis. Once you click again, it will rotate to the next part, the apples, and then a final part to the bananas. You can change it to any topic that you like, of course. I'm just using fruit as an example here. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.